companies, you know, MPAA is not a company. It's just a front group working on behalf of companies like Sony and, and perhaps, I suppose Paramount is part of something maybe a bigger studio or some, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure about the structure. No, the very, the very few of them wants to go up to the top of who owns who and is friends of who. Uh, you this have is where Universal and, and, and uh, this, this is where we need Wayne, or as he's known online as being the Mad Hatter. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the show. His, 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 he works in a recording studio. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know who owns it. I'm not sure Paramount's completely uh, independent. It might be a subsidiary of... Uh, okay, I don't want to I don't want to guess here, but I, I think Paramount perhaps belongs to somebody else. And these companies are the ones throwing millions and millions of litigations and trying to basically terrorize people. They, they call people... T- pirates, but what they do is a form of piracy because they try to terrorize people. Uh, they try to put them in a position where if they challenge the existing situation or the existing uh, form of distribution, even by encouraging uh, legal use of, of, of BitTorrent, you know, you, you may have gotten your tracks that we play today uh, via BitTorrent. I'm not sure if you use this option or maybe you just get it off the server, which is quite expensive for the person operating the site with a the files, but uh, they they try to impede any sort of progress. That's their goal. Uh, it's called the tunnel. some ways. Uh, Greenpeace is funded in part by people with interests in, in, in oil, I think, so they will protest against certain interests that are kind of uh, adversaries to, to, you know, to oil. And it's, it's, it's a really complicated thing, but if you think about it, if you're a company that makes billions and billions of dollars, and Paramount is one such company, uh, and it's going to cost you very little money to buy all of these small challengers and if you do manage to entice them to, you know, this will be the better thing for you to do, uh, you can kind of uh, dissipate and kind of disrupt well, the group. I'm sure, I'm sure, but then I mean, a lot on the flip side, you've got a, the movie here which was already made um, without Paramount's input, I believe. Um, and Paramount have come along and offered a solution um, to them for deploying it in the shops, as, in addition to their initial intention of releasing it on, uh, uh, to be shared for free. Um, the, the, obviously, the ties to people to buy is the, extra, the added extras in the alternate ending. That's uh, that's going to be on the DVD release in the stores. Um, but you know, I would like, I would hope people give it a chance because whilst we can say people like Paramount and any company or corporation that's uh, doing this type of work is obviously there to make a profit, they're not here for goodwill or for charity. Um, if they do make a, 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 a substantive profit out of this. Um, uh, this new way of doing things, then it's win-win for everybody. You know, the end user who just wants to download it for free and watch it, they can do that and be rest assured they're not going to get a letter through the post accusing them of infringement of copyright. Uh, the company themselves, Paramount, can make a lot of money from the people who want to see the alternate ending or how the thing was made and buy the thing in the shop. And the producers who made the film get the uh, extra benefits of having Paramount involved. Presumably, they will get some sort of reward from Paramount, and everyone's a winner. So I'm a little bit dubious about damning Paramount or this new this addition to this uh, to this film so soon until we actually see which direction it takes. There's no question that the film's still going to be released for free, and people can share it and uh, distribute it as they like. 
Um, it's only going to be the, the in the shop version. The only caveat to that that I'd say would be that a couple of people, and rightfully so, who donated to the movie have raised the question that when they paid money to uh, for the filming of the of the tunnel, they expected to have access to these type of things as part of their um, investment. They were investing in something which was going to be free and open to it, to everybody. And now they find that the making of or the alternate ending will only be available on the DVD in the stores for a cost. So there's a little bit of animosity, I think, from what I've read between the lines in on some of the torrent fruit comments. Well, I think... kind of, hey, uh, do you remember the, uh, the film Singtel? Did you watch that? It's about no. 15 minutes. They also had a, uh, a footage of about one hour uh, which they also put on YouTube, incidentally, and they were trying to sell DVDs based on the uh, based on the behind-the-scenes footage as well as the high-quality uh, rendering of the film, uh, and they tried to show different ways of working, basically with open source and producing in, in a very independent way a very good film, which which it was, and I showed it to some people, and they were they very much enjoyed the film. Uh, but the well, why do they why do these Australian uh, producers or whatever, why do they have to go to an American company to put DVDs in the stores? That's what I kind of wonder, because I'm, I'm sure the distribution channels could, they could actually choose some company that would allow them, given the expectations of sales, uh, to have wide coverage. I mean, so, I, I know absolutely nothing about how films are made or the film industry other than I don't like Avatar, and I like the Harry Potter series. I suppose the, the link, the stretch of my knowledge about the, the film industry itself. Yeah. But I would guess to say that you know you've got some amateur um, or some filmmakers that maybe aren't known on the on the main circuit, and they've made a film which has got a lot of publicity on torrent free and sites like that, and people are very excited about it. And suddenly they've been approached by a, a very well known massive company who's offered to give them an avenue into. Well, the company is that well known. I think the company has got lots of well known. Front or people or well, well, Paramount. Is yeah. I mean, the, the, yeah, it's, it's, it's more. Uh, you say well known, but it, it sounds like there's some kind of a superstar approaching them. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's when, when I similar. yeah, when I hear the word Paramount, I can actually see the logo being drawn in my mind because I've seen it on so many films, uh, yeah. etc. Yeah, so it, so it, whatever the cause of that, the branding, the PR, whatever, it's 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 rather large in people's minds. Yeah, um, what... about perception, it relates to what we had before with the track. You you were mentioning the fact that some bands they produce very very high quality music, which they do, but people will not be willing to pay for it because there is the perceived value of these things. And if you can play it in clubs and you can play it in MTV and things like that, people start to perceive these things as extremely uh, ex widely accepted by their friends, and then they're willing to pay for the CD or to have this kind of a nice face in the front of the CD of a person who's a very, very, you know, valuable person, a very revered person. Uh, once you see a person whose perceived value or perceived achievements are less than what you know you, you, you can get somewhere else in the shop, you probably won't buy the CD. And that's just to do with how you appeal to people's minds and you have them. Try to buy a dream, and, and and not just not just when it comes to physical things, but also trying to license the CD. If you can allow people to have a piece of like you know for girls it might be Britney Spears or something like that, uh, they will be willing to pay for it to be associated or to have some kind of um, you know status best by, by by affiliation with the person that they listen to. So they buy the posters and they buy the whole gear. And hope to be seen as somewhat, you know, relating to the person that they that they listen to. That they, uh, it's 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 a tricky thing. It's a tricky thing. And it's the same thing with films, though. And, and that's that's just the reason we said a well-known company. I I just know what the company is doing and has been doing for many years with Marilyn Monroe and stars like that. They build characters and they build faces and they use them as logos and they even give them fake names they, they make new names for them because it's more catchy and and the, so, so yeah yeah well keeping the uh, keeping on topic with the uh, music industry uh, as we've been talking and recording um we've got uh, one more track for the end of the show and roy Obviously, discussion on on the tunnel. I think will will rage on, not specifically here, but certainly on the various forums and sites. Um, what I will say is that the the show notes 
will have all the links that we've been talking about today, and it'll also have uh, the tracks that we've been playing as well, which uh, I strongly se- suggest you check out. But Roy, is there any um, other topics that you've got that you want to bring up? I'm scanning down my RSS feeds here just to see if anything stands out. There's lots of news, there's lots of releases, things like PHP. I don't, I don't think any of them are pretty... To be honest with you, I've been off 